to sign. <laughs> I can't believe we only have two classes together. We have the same study period. Maybe I should transfer into your calculus class. It's too late to change. Ooh, I wish I hadn't come back a week late. You had to help your mom adjust to house arrest. How's she doing, by the way? You're joining student council, right? I might be busy with other things. Like what? <laughs> What's with the jockathon? Your locker is now in Hockey Player Central. Come on, bro. You lose every time. <laughs> A mysterious neighbor finally appears. Didn't dream you'd be so hot, though. Mike Dallas, and you are? The wrong tree to be barking up. It's a terrible name. You should change it. It's Fiona Coyne. Look, I'm flattered, but not interested. Well, I love me a challenge. And I love me girls. <laughs> no way. You're way too pretty. This is my girlfriend. She's a lesbian, and you're a lesbian? Is this heaven? I thought it was high school. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. I won't be able to buy this lesbian thing unless you prove it. Let's see a kiss. Ew. Ew? Yeah, ew. Come on, just one kiss. Sure. We'll kiss each other after you kiss him. I have to go. Wait, are we having lunch together? Can't. Band practice. You joined a band? That's so silly. Do you play an instrument? Sort of. I gotta run. That girl ain't no lesbian. You're vile. <laughs> pull and pull! Oh. Um. Oh, hey, Amy, what's up? I can wait. I'll go uh, check on Boning Bar. What is it? I just thought maybe we could talk, but obviously you're too busy flirting with a guy for that. We were joking around. It's hard work planning a dance, you know, so your band can play. When Mo told me about this dance, I knew it. You organized it for me, but you said my band was silly. And this is my apology. So is that the plan, Fiona? You're going to throw an event for me every time you can't talk to me? We can talk whenever you want. No, we can't. You came back from New York and decided everything. We need to spend every minute together. I'm a lesbian. I'm your girlfriend. Let's broadcast it to the world. You're having second thoughts. I care about you more than anyone. Well, it doesn't sound like it. But you're pressuring me. Fine. Pressure's off. Let me know what you decide. Hey, can we talk before you go on stage? Or you could talk and I could try listening for a change. I'll meet you guys backstage. I want to be your girlfriend. Not like how this is starting, but it has to be slow, like super slow. And I'm worried that's not going to be good enough for you. OK, your turn. My world is a mess. Everything that's going on with my family right now is so up in the air. And I was looking for solid ground with you. But I pushed too hard. So whatever speed you're on, I can be on that one too. That means no more events in my honor. I promise. <laughs> so um, does this super slow speed mean no kissing? Just not in front of the jocks, OK? Finally! Are you here to cash in on those two dances I owe you? Where's Imogen? I'm here. And so is my girlfriend. Happy Fiona Coin Day! <laughs> but it's not your birthday. And it's unfair that people only get one day a year to celebrate themselves. So I decided that today is Fiona Coin Day, an extra special day every year just for me. Well, as far as I'm concerned, every day is Imogen Marina Day. Then let's celebrate both. OK, maybe it's at your place. Or maybe for a change, yours. Uh, not saying. I'm beginning to think you don't want me to meet your dad. Professor Marino's in the middle of one of his academic outbursts. And your place is so nice and quiet. Well, since a large, musky eating machine moved in. But Drew is working tonight, so at least we have the whole messy place to ourselves. <gasps> wow, a date on my very first Fiona Coin Day. <laughs> Keto. Tron, Cowboys and Aliens, and the Change Up. And I thought I had weird tastes. What? They all have Olivia Wilde. I feel like something funny. Fine. We'll see what's on one of my amazing 26th low-def channels. 
Hopefully something monkey related. Or monkey related. <gasps> you take that back. Or what? Seriously, stop. Get your ticklish parts away from my fingers, then. <laughs> I'm gonna pee my pants. Stop! <laughs> you made me do that. No, I didn't. Now, chicka, wow, wow. You're home early? Guess no one told him it was Fiona Coin Day. I'm posting another roommate ad online. If I lived with a girl, do you think you'd be jealous? Drew's not that bad. I can't live like this anymore. This is worse than a pig's tie, and trust me, I owned a pig. Is that an assignment? Did I forget? Um, quick, let me see. Relax, girl. It's a list. Pretty short list. I'm thinking of ways to get back at Drew. For what? Only cleaning half the condo. Uh, yeah, what a jerk. Imogen. <laughs> what? You each pay half the rent and half the bills, so you should share the cleaning, no? He's a boy. Boys are genetically more slovenly, and I'm not gonna be his maid. It's about time guys had a taste of the housework that women have been suffering through for generations. Oh, you are quite the feminist. I thought you'd have my back in this situation. I do! But you wanna know what I do in your situation? Don't say clean my half of the condo. Okie dokie. Happy Fiona Coin Day. I thought we already had Fiona Coin Day. I'm taking a page out of your book. Every day can be a special me day. She would dose of happy. I've experienced personal growth through honest hard work. <gasps> you clean. Very much so. And my roommate situation is stabilized for now, and Drew's even gonna give us some alone time tonight. I'd love to, it's just, I have to present my set designs for the musical tomorrow. Eli's been on my case, and I have to stay home and work. Okay, well, I'll come over and watch, or help. No, I'd get it done quicker by myself, no offense. Plus, my dad's got dinner plans for us. Okay, so. I get it. You don't want me at your house. It's not that. Well, we've been more than friends for weeks now, and I'm still waiting for my invite. I'm sorry. It's just really bad timing. Okay, here's the plan. Go in, get the money, get out. Stop blinking. Your finger's in my eye. <laughs> Well, can't you just wear your glasses? I mean, why the torture? Dad wears glasses. Natalie left Dad. And if I wear my glasses, she'll think of him and not give me the money I need to make my dreams come true. <laughs> OK, and I thought my mother-daughter relationship was complicated. Natalie's evil. <laughs> she left when I was eight, and all she cared about was cutting into people's backs. She's a backstabber? Spinal surgeon with a perfect new family. I see her once a month, only when I can't find an excuse to get out of it. I hate it there. So are you sure you want to do this? Fiones, you know how much I love to build that mini house last year. This is my chance to build something full scale from the ground up. Well, in that case, go get that money from your evil mom. You deserve it. Green back of the day. Très impressionnant. So, you defeated the evil queen and got your materials, I see. <sighs> At a cost. She wants to eat dinner with me tonight. I'd rather die a thousand deaths. Oh, quel drame. There's a crazy guy outside. <laughs> Wearing a robe. A lash hair on the loose. <laughs> An ex-boyfriend from your hetero days, but that's so funny. I've got to see this. It's weird. See, this is why I don't invite you over to my house, because I knew you'd get all judgy. I mean, I know it's weird, but it's not weird for my dad. So he's worn a robe in public to visit you at school before? No. But sometimes we go for brunch in our robes, and he always walks bolt in his pajamas. Like sweatpants and Uggs, or he forgets to get dressed. OK. I'll admit it, he has been forgetful lately. Walking into rooms and forgets why he's there, keys in the fridge on the regular. But who does not happen to, right? And he's been really, really busy with this new course. I think it's time for you to see us Marinos in action to fully understand. Come over tonight. I'll make it the case it is. And what about dinner with your mom? It's not like she hasn't let me down before. How could I resist quesadillas? <laughs> Arriba! <laughs> Sorry I'm late. Our grocer has a vendetta against fermented butterfat. He means they're out of sour cream. 
And how are my green peppers coming along? Are these chopped finely enough? I'll do another pass. Sorry, cooking wasn't really a coin family activity. My dad likes them impossibly small. <laughs> Why don't you just create some cheddar? Burlington Cops. <laughs> We've got issues, Burlington Comics. <laughs> Amazing. As kids, Declan and I weren't allowed to sing commercials. Why not? Something stupid. My mom saw it as lowbrow and silly. I'm afraid your mother has a point there. <laughs> hey, do I have something on my face? <laughs> Imogen, no playing with food. <laughs> Don't worry, Ulta the canine vacuum will get it. I should get myself one of those. Then again, I have Drew. Hey, Dad, where is Volta? I... I put him out in the yard. All day? Oh, I'll get him. Take him for a quick walk while you're out there. Let's go, Fios. Volta! Take back what I said about your dad. He's awesome. Kind of makes me miss my mom. Stupid house arrest. Too bad he loses dogs, though. Hey, it happens. I set a cat free on purpose once. Go grab the keys from my dad. We'll take a drive around the neighborhood to find him. Where are you, animal friend? What are you doing? What's wrong?